welcome to an all new Mountain Blade Warband series based on the Roman Empire. This is Arcade Night and we will explore all the unique features of this mod as well as lead our Roman Senator turn General on a path to possibly become an Emperor. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy throne. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage and let's get ready to unite Imperial Rome. Let's go ahead and build the character. And the reason I wanted to do this with you guys is because there's so many functions in this particular mod that are based on the decisions you make when you create your character. So the first decision you have to make is right here. Now, if you pick to be a commander of a group of one of the factions or a commander of rebellious soldiers, um, you get about a hundred men to control at the very beginning of the game. Now, if you pick a gladiator, um, you have no gear, no money, you're at pretty much bad relationships with everyone in the game, especially Rome, but you are a mighty warrior to start the game with. And then if you pick a younger son of a Roman, you get good gear, you get good relationships, as well as a little bit of money to start the game with. But I think I'm going to pick a commander of a group of soldiers of one of the factions, particularly a Roman faction. And then here you go, the different factions we can choose. Um, I'm going to go with one of these parties, which are all Roman factions. There are four generals vying for control, trying to be emperor. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the North Party to start the game with. Um, and then I think I'll be a pupil in a noble house. And I think I will pick trade and for lust, money, and power. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, I've looked through all of these before, and there's one that I spotted right away. For some reason, it's just appealing to me. Um, but I wanted to show all of the different banners you can pick in the game. Uh, but the one I really want to get, I think it's this one. I love the, uh, the snake in the S shape. But yeah, I don't see any other ones that really... Yeah, I'm going to go with my gut. Let's go ahead and pick that one. Okay, so allow me to quit without saving... Okay, so the name of my character will be Regulus Rotilius Rufus. A long name, but we'll go with Rufus for short. And uh, he is going to be a senator, recently been given a commission, uh, been given a legion to go fight in Gaul. So. I want to give him a lot of traits that a senator would have. And I do want him to become emperor hopefully one day. So his warrior skills, we're not going to concentrate too heavily on uh, until we start fighting. For now, I'm just going to give him a couple of points in strength to get him up to... Hmm, let's give him get him up to eight. One more in intelligence. Um, let's see. Yeah. Can we do that? One more charisma. Okay, so let's uh, put a couple of points in iron flesh. Um, one in power throw, because I want to get some javelins. One in shield. Writing's good. Looting's good. Trainer. Let's give him a couple of points in trainer. Uh, let's see. Pathfinding, he has one. That'll work out well. And then some engineering. Let's give him some more engineering, because this is extremely important in this game. We're going to talk about that. One more in prison management. Uh, let's give him three in engineering to start off with because it, it's very important from what I gathered in this game And then let's go ahead and put all those points in one-handed weapons for now And then the rest in throwing because I do want to pick up some javelins All right, so go ahead. We're done. All right, so let me go ahead and create the appearance of General Rufus All right, there you go But, but I love how in this mod you can't choose a beard if you're playing a Roman character I guess traditionally Romans didn't grow beards, but Rufus does have some stubble. I guess he's a bit of a rebel. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm done here. So we're going to get started playing Imperial Rome.
I have been enjoying the Gladiator games here in Rome. And guys, take a look at this arena. It is huge. Look at all the people watching on. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Later on in the series, we're going to fight in the Gladiator games. We're definitely going to do it, but we're not going to do it today because there's so many things to do. But let's see if I can jump. Yep, here we go. Oh, get out of the Senator's box and start walking around. Check out the arena. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So guys, we've got so much to do. We've got to carry on. So let's go ahead and get out here. Dude, your face is weird. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get out of here because there's so much to do. Um, I want to, first of all, just leave here and, and let you guys take a look at the map because I know when I see new mods on YouTube, I want to see the map first of all. So I just want to back up and let you guys see the extent of the map. All the way from Britannia to what is modern day Spain, down into the top of Africa. There's a lot of land here that just, there's just nothing there. It's just open desert. Of course, we've got the, the center of Rome right here along the Italian coastline. And then guys, all the way through Greece, through what is modern day Turkey, all the way to Judea, way into the Middle East. So we've got the full extent of the Roman Empire as of 69 AD. So I'm pretty excited about that. Plus, there are tons of factions in this game, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later on. But what I want to do is now that we've seen the map, let's go and check out the city of Rome. So uh, let's uh, go to a few of these areas, a few of these scenes, and explore a little bit. Because I haven't been able to look at all the scenes quite yet. But one of the reasons that I picked this particular Roman mod is because it had the best map, in my opinion, some of the best scenes, and some of the best new features that I just haven't seen in other Warband mods. So we're going to talk all about that stuff later, guys. But check this out. This looks pretty good already, right? Let's see if my horse can get up here. Nope. All right, let's dismount and walk up these steps and, and really get into Rome and check it out. Look at this. This looks really good. I have yet to find another a Roman based warband mod that looks as good as this on, on all factions or all facets of the game, I should say. Oh, look at the little marketplace. This is beautiful. This is great. Very nice. Okay, I want to check out a few other, other spots in the city. So let's uh, get out of here and go ahead and check that out. Let's go to Streets 2. Come on. Let's get in there. Loading up. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can see why it took so long. Look at this. Look at the aqueduct. Oh, there's the Colosseum in the background. Now, I know in this is not historically accurate. The Colosseum was not yet built as of 69 AD. Actually, Vespasian, Vespasian, one of the, uh, the generals vying for power, actually started the construction of the Colosseum. So, there's a few things that are not quite historically accurate. But, come on, guys. You know. Give me and the mod developers a break. If, if there's some things that just aren't historically accurate, because we're just trying to have a good time here. But yeah, check this out. This looks really, really nice. Really nice. I cannot wait to really dig down deep into this mod. Look at the statues. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're looking pretty good. We're going to save that other one for another time when we visit Rome. So uh, we'll save number three for another time. Uh, the next thing I want to do is head into the taverns because I want to talk about something that they don't have in this mod. And what they don't have in this mod... Huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. I, I think I'm going to hire this, this engineer back here because we'll talk about why engineers are so important. Oh, he just has things for sale. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay, never mind. I was... I was wondering... I don't need any of these, but we're... Guys, there are fire arrows in this game. You can see fire shooting across the battlefield. We're going to talk about that later. But what I wanted to tell you is that in this mod, you cannot pick up companions in the taverns. There's a special unique function on how to get companions in this game. And I'm going to tell you about it a little bit later in this episode. But, um, hmm. I don't think I need you, good sir. I think my army's pretty good. Okay, let's get out of here. And then let's go to the marketplace really quickly. Make sure we've got everything we need. Now, we start the game off with some Roman general armor. So we're pretty much stocked up. Let me put my light shield 
get my sword. Uh, this this shield works great in siege battles, but it is way too big to fight um, ground battles. Also, we've got tons of food to start off the game and a few items to sell off to get some money. Now, what I am looking for is some javelins. No. Ah, large bag of javelins. Power throw one. Perfect. Exactly what I have. That's exactly what I need. Um, and, hmm, we don't have much money. Let's head back. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, take a look at our party. Yes, yeah, so, if we look at our reports and our weekly budget, here's the thing. Um, I get a mercenary payment from the North Party, um, but my wages for my army are not covered by the mercenary payment. One of the negatives to starting the game with an army. So I need to immediately get up to Gaul. I can't be celebrating here in Rome anymore. And I need to formulate a plan to start getting some money from these barbarians. So let me take a sip of my tasty beverage first, guys. Mm. Probably by the time I get up there, I'm going to have to make another payment. And I'm going to be in the negative. And my men are not going to like that at all. Okay, guys. So I think I'm set. My inventory looks good. Um, my party, um, there's some Roman engineers, which we're going to talk about their importance a little bit later, but you see, I've got some men that are set up in the Rome groups that these men are definitely not in the cavalry. Um, so guys, I'm going to situate this army and then also I'm going to make my way up to the North party right between Gaul and Germania. And, uh, we're going to talk about the next course of action in today's episode. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I'm entering the Roman Fort of Lugden, right on the border of Gaul, and um, I'm up here to do a couple of things. I basically, get my army ready so we can go out on the frontier and start attacking some barbarians. Get some money for my troops, but also, guys, I wanted to show you this Roman settlement. Let me get off my horse. Walk through the streets. Yep, General coming through. General Rufus. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, citizens. Yeah, check this out, guys. It's pretty awesome. I really love the look of this mod. They've done a lot of great things with this mod. Um, but uh, let's make sure we've got all the food we need. And then I'm going to show you what I've done with the army. And then we're going to start heading out to the frontier. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to the marketplace. We probably don't have any money. Just enough. I think we've got enough food for now. All right. So let me show you what I've done with the army. Okay. So I've got 10 men on horseback. 10 cavalry. Um, then you've got these various troops and trumpeteers, um, signifiers. Um, also, we've got some, some legionnaires, which is, makes up the bulk of my army. Um, but we've got plenty of infantry, which is what the Roman army, army mainly was. Then I have slingers and javelin throwers and throwers of stones and all these different archers um, in the back here. Then I have these four engineers. Uh, which I'm going to keep in my engineer slot, hold them back, and you're going to see why when we get into the battle. And also, I've got that Centurion Legionnaire. He's really important too, so I want to hold him back with the engineers because if he upgrades to this guy, it's going gonna, it's gonna to become something very important. So I'll tell you why in a second, guys. Um, but here's what I want to do. Let's talk about our plan of action. I was thinking we'll go hmm, probably... I think we'll hit up a couple of villages around the outskirts here. Try to get as much money as we can from pillaging these villages. And then we're going to come back here, sell it, make sure we can make a week's wage. And then we're going to look for a fight. But if, they, if we find a fight before then, then so be it. We need to spread the word in Gaul territory that General Rufus is here. So guys, once we get going, I'm going to cut right back. All right, here's the first village. Now, some of these villages have garrisons, which I'm not quite sure how it works, but it's one of the interesting features of the game. So, guys, we're going to uncover and explore all these things as we go along. All right, guys, so let's get in here. Um, hmm, let's go ahead and take some hostile action. Let's force them to give us some supplies. And let's take the supplies. There we go. There we go. All right. So I'm not getting the option to loot and plunder just yet, but after I do a few of these, and after I fight a battle, I'll definitely get that option. But for now, I'm just going to do a few of these. Yeah, force me to give them supplies. Come on, give me some supplies. Take those supplies. Okay, good. All right. Go to the next village. See if I can piss off some more people. Yep. 
Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're going to have to take some more serious action. I'm going to have to look for one of these barbarian leaders to fight. Hmm. Or we may take on one of these military transports just as... Hmm. See if I can find one. Nope. Nope. Where are you? Are they hiding from the general? Guys, we've got to start upgrading quick, because uh, one of the aspects... Oh, here we go. Oh, that would... Let's see if we can catch both of these together. Yep, yep, yep. We want it all. We want it all. So did two military transports join? I'm not sure. Now, here's one of the cool features, guys. You can get an onager. You start the game with one if you pick one of these... Um, you, you're the leader of a group of men. Um, and you can get more onagers, but it's based on several faction factors. How much money do you have? How many engineers you have in your party? Remember, I have like four or five engineers. Um, and also based on, I believe, your engineering skill to build more onagers. Or there's also ballista that you can build as well. But we'll talk about all that later. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I bring in my one onager into the battlefield. And you see it right there ahead of me. All right, I'm going to set up my cavalry. Way over to the right here. Uh, set up my legion, my infantry right up in front. Have my archers back here. And make sure my engineer is back behind by the onager. And um, he's going to have that one guy protecting him. That one centurion. There he is. There's that centurion. All right. Protect those engineers. And guys, look at this thing fire away. It's... <laughs> See if I can see one of these things. Oh no! He almost hit my men with that ball coming down. But there, you see it? You see it explode up in the distance? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let me bring my men up a little bit closer. I don't want to use my cavalry. Oh, there's another one fly. Come on, engineers. Do good work. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So look, I even have standard bears. It's, it's awesome. Look at these chariots and carts. Well, they're carts. Um, but, uh, there are chariots in this game, guy, guys, and we're going to show you those chariots in another episode later. Oh, yeah, throw those javelins. Throw those javelins. Okay, let me set up my guys. Let's put them in formation. Let's put them in shield wall. And then have those men set up a little bit further down here. Okay, man. Yep. Keep throwing javelins. Also, I'm going to go ahead and make sure they're standing a little bit closer. That was close. That was close. All right, man. Let's march forward. Let's march forward. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was a direct hit by my Roman engineers. Did you see that? Oh, they're breaking. They're breaking. Send in the cavalry now. Send in the cavalry now. They're breaking. Oh, I, I need to I need to get some upgrading here. So this is important for me. I'm only on level one. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's see if I can beat my cavalry down. Look at those fire arrows for my archers. Oh, guys, I just love this game. All right, let's see if I can beat my officers here. Beat my cavalry. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, good shot. Good shot. I think that's all of them, right? Oh, one more. One more. Look at those fire arrows raining down. Ugh. I absolutely am in love with this mod. All right, keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Keep on going. What do we have left? One enemy left. Oh, he's going to escape. He's definitely going to escape. All right, guys. We're going we're gonna to chase after this, this one man. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let me go celebrate with my men because one of the other cool aspects of this game is your men really celebrate with you. They start pounding on shields with their swords. They start throwing heads at you. Let my men celebrate. That's right. That's right. The general did this. The general brought this victory. That's right. Absolutely. Look at my men celebrate. Woo! All right, guys. We're gonna look at that head on the ground. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna look at our wounds. And uh, talk about a few more aspects of this game. Look at all the heads. Look at all the heads. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Oof, wow. All right, so we lost no men. Um, we killed 26 of them. All right, routed to a um, few slaves. I don't want to pick up these slaves to become part of my party, but you can get prisoners that are slaves, and, and they, they perform a unique function in the game. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does, but I think they can make money for you on a weekly basis. So, guys, we're going to explore all of that, too, but let me get out of here, and I need to grab some money and head back to town. And start selling these goods off so I can pay my men off. Did I upgrade yet? No. How close? Ugh, I need to kill a couple more men. Um, but guys, one of the interesting aspects of this game is that in order to upgrade, or in order to even get a companion, ooh, here's some, okay, let me go behind. I don't want to get involved with all these Gaul Barbarians right now. But one of the unique functions of this game is you can't just pick up companions in taverns. You've got to get them through your troops upgrading. And what do I mean by that? Well, there are certain troops in your party that when they upgrade to their max level, they have a special option to where they can become a unique companion. Let me go ahead and upgrade this. One of those troops happens to be the Centurion Legionnaire. And how do you know which of these troops can upgrade that way? Well, well, if you go to the camp menu, you go to take an action, view candidates for increase, there's a list of them. And there he is, Centurion Legionnaire. There's, there's several of them, depending on what faction you are part of. Jewish warriors, uh, Germanic cavalry veterans, the uh, list goes on and on and on. But this is how you know. Now, the other aspect that you need to complete before you can get a companion is your character has to become level 15 so we've got a long way to go we got to hit level 15 we've got to keep those guys alive so hopefully we can make some companions to help us out a little bit later that's why guys engineering is so important because hopefully maybe those companions will have some engineering but you need engineering for so many different things early in the game one of them see if we can do this if you go to take an action um, you go to construct these objects right here, these cars, artillery options. You see, you can build one of these onagers. I don't have 5,000, um, but there's one available to build. But we're not going to do that now. I think as your engineering skill increases, you're able to build more. There's more options there. But guys, there's so many things to do. There's so many different functions to talk about. I could go on and on and on, but I got to sell these goods off first. Let's see if we can get some money. Ugh, they don't have much here. Let's see. Only 600. Sell all this... F eh, some of this food. Oof. Oof. This is not going to work out well. We've got a lot more work to do, guys. A lot more work to do. So I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to take a walk around the streets one more time, guys. And I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode. I absolutely love this mod. I've searched for so long to find a Roman Warband mod worthy of you guys. And I think I found it here. So guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It is so important. It's the most important thing you could do to help this channel grow. Also, guys, if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Imperial Rome.